Hello everyone, thanks for joining me on Stubble Meat Steel. So I just got back from a vacation. I did shave once on vacation, but I shaved on Saturday, so I got about, I don't know, three days worth of growth or so. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to compare two of these more, uh, what I would consider medium aggressive razors that uh, an awesome friend and viewer had sent to me to check out. And one of them is the Mula Roca, and the other one is the Aylesworth. This is their Copper Cant, and this one is the Plus Plate which has a 0.99 gap and a positive blade exposure. I can't remember the exact measurement, I'll post that up. I'll look up the Roca, I don't know that they uh, disclose any blade gap or um, blade exposure or anything like that, so I'll check that out. If they do, I'll put those up there. But um, price-wise, these were very similar, if I remember correctly. Depends on how you get the uh, the Roca. I remember there being a few that were around $125 or $100 or so, whereas the Ellsworth is about $100. So somewhat uh, comparable in price. Uh, lengthwise, they both have similar handles and shaving with them. The one time that I've shaved with both of these, they have both felt in that same league of what I would personally consider medium aggressive razors. So I thought this would be a great uh, opportunity to see how they do with a little bit more growth and see how I like the shave of both of them. For today's soap, I'm going to be using again this Moon brand. This is the Santa Cruz. Fantastic uh, tropical smell. What I love about it is not only does it have your typical coconut scent to it that you would expect from an island type scent but they also add banana in there and I really like the banana scent they added and the other thing I really love that they added in there is vanilla cotton candy and I love cotton candy so that addition of the banana and the cotton candy they also add in some amber in there all things that I like the smell of and to me it really comes together with just an awesome awesome my favorite beach tropical smell that I've come across yet and when I got it, I loved the scent of it, but unfortunately, TRC that I got it from was out of the splash. So I just ordered the splash directly from Moon, and it just came today. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to use the splash. So I had a hat on all weekend, that's so why I got my this line in my head. I had a hat on most of the last five days because I was outside a lot. We went and saw the Dave Matthews Festival up in Washington with some friends. Camped out at the Gorge Amphitheater. It was awesome. We glamp hardcore. My friend has a sweet uh, Camp Chef three burner propane grill with a pizza oven attachment. We want for nothing when it comes to food. We eat like kings. So I had a great time with that. All right, let's get into it here. So this is gonna be the Aylesworth with the plus plate on this side of my face. Definitely some blade feel for me. For blades today, I'm using Gillette 7 o'clock, the greens, the super stainless. I haven't shaved with this much hair growth in a little while. So let's see how the Roca does on the other side of my face to compare.
I really like this fat, chunky handle that they put on the Roca. All right, done with that first pass. So as I mentioned, I haven't shaved with that much growth in a while, so I didn't want to say that it felt like the Ellsworth was tugging on the first pass, but it definitely has more blade feel, the Ellsworth, and to me it did feel like it tugged a little bit more. I just used the Roca with the same growth on the other side of the face, and I didn't have that same sensation. So it felt like the Ellsworth was a little more tugging to me and definitely had more blade feel to me. Almost too much. Being honest, the Ellsworth Plus Plate has. I was pretty careful on that pass for sure for me. It definitely borders that comfort zone for me. Of almost too much blade feel. When I got this Ellsworth from my friend, at that time, they offered it in both the standard, which is a 0.70 gap, and the plus plate, but apparently they've done away with the standard plate of the Ellsworth in the copper cant offering for some reason. If you want the standard plate, you have to step into the apex. I'm not sure why they decided to do that, because personally, I think that this is a little bit much for me. That felt nice. I definitely liked it better on the against the grain pass than I did the with the grain pass. The Roca felt a little bit smoother. I did want to be super careful right there on the Adam's apple part of my neck. But the Roca felt a little bit smoother on that pass as well for me. The Roca is 316 stainless. This one is the anodized one. The one that really stands out to me is the wood one, the uh, birch wood. I think really, really looks cool. And that's probably the one that I would personally get if I was going to get it. And when I saw pictures of the Mule Roca with the wood handle on a couple of the Shave of the Day pics that I had seen guys post, that was what caught my eye was that cool wood handle. I was like, ooh, what razor is that? It's got a really unique looking wood handle to me. They like layered the wood in like a laminate design. Looks kind of cool, different. All right, let's get in here with the Ellsworth, across the grain. The Ellsworth definitely smooths out if you ride the cap, but it still reminds me I need to be careful.
Definitely a light touch used when I use this Aylesworth. One thing I forgot to mention that's very unique with this Mula is there is zero lather channels. They've gone with the design like the McCore Progress where it has a large channel here and it works. It works very well. It rinses out super easy. Let's go in for one more pass. Just wanted to do this quick shave, get myself ready for tomorrow. And then I really didn't want to keep all these razors a huge length of time, even though he was super awesome and let me check him out. I'm gonna try to knock out a bunch of these videos. So far, nice. Let's do the Roca. Really like this fat handle. Let me just clean up under my nose here. All right, let's spray it on and see how we did here.
very, very comparable. There's a tiny bit here on the Roka side, but I don't remember stretching that hard. I'll have to watch the video on that side. Tiny bit here on the Ellsworth side. All right, let me go ahead and get rinsed up and we'll talk razors. All right, let me spray on some Thayer's Witch Hazel while we're talking. Here's a matching splash. I'll go ahead and put that on in a minute after we're done talking. They said they added, I think, toasted coconut or something like that to it to kind of give it more of a complex note than the soap. So I'm curious to see how that smells. All right, so back to these two particular razors and what do I think of them? Well, I have to be honest, you know, it's not always what I like on all these shave videos. And sometimes I'll purposely compare two razors knowing that I might not like one of the particular razors, or to be honest with you, maybe both of them are a little bit too aggressive for me. So that's my particular take on it. If I had to choose, I definitely like the, uh, Aylesworth Apex, the 0 0.70 gap, and <coughs> excuse me, this is personally a little bit too much for me. As you can see, I got it done. I didn't cut myself, I didn't nick myself the first time I did use it. I kind of fault the blade on that one because I, I couldn't remember exactly how many shaves on it, and it did eat up my neck pretty bad. It kind of nicked me a couple of times here. It could have been the blade though. So that said, I personally would love to see Aylesworth come back with the 0 0.70 offering also in this copper can. I do have that plate that my buddy loaned me and that's definitely more my speed. So that would be my personal preference. But as far as these two razors head to head, I found that the Roca was a little bit smoother, a little bit more forgiving and just a little bit easier for me personally to use. So efficiency wise, they were extremely comparable. There was a tiny bit more pickup here on the Roca side, but again, uh, you know, I got a lot on my mind right now. I kind of literally just got home off of a bunch of traveling and stuff. So I'd have to watch the video and see if I equally skin stretched and did about the same amount of passes. I kind of like the uh, cool design that this has the no lather channel. And the reason why I like that is when, when you rinse it, the water goes off to the sides so it doesn't get on the handle. Keep the handle nice and dry while you're shaving the whole time, which is kind of a cool feature. I do really like the design and the look of the handle on this one. Excuse me. My throat's really dry. I had to take a drink of, drink of water there, but I do like how you can kind of smooth out the feel of the Ellsworth, but the Roca, <coughs> excuse me, the Roca is easier to use all the time. Um, it doesn't really smooth out when you ride the top cap. It kind of never really changes. So there's a little bit more angle to play with on the Ellsworth, but you're definitely not locked into a shaving angle. It's very, very easy to find the shaving angle on the Roca. For me personally, while I like the looks of the handle on the uh, copper cant, I like the feel and the thickness and the size of the handle on the Roca definitely a lot more. Um, for me personally, you know, I'm more of a, uh, a mild to medium razor person, mostly because I shave every day. But, you know, for me with the more growth, I didn't really feel like these more aggressive razors were that much more pleasurable for me to use. I just have to be careful personally on my neckline. For me, you know, a lot of guys, oh, if you get an aggressive enough razor, you can do one pass. I can't get one pass with any razor I have tried. It just doesn't happen. Guys have said, oh, if you go twice with the grain, that'll get you BBS. Nope, still doesn't work for me. So for me personally, I prefer a more mild to, you know, lower end of medium aggressiveness to get the job done. I find that that's a better combo for me personally. I can do multiple passes, three or four passes if I need to, and I get no irritation. For me, that's the ticket. Whereas with these particular razors, especially the Ellsworth, I felt like I'm on eggshells all the time. I feel like I have to be super light touch. I have to pay close attention. I tried to talk less, especially while I was on my neckline. And so for me personally, I don't particularly like the more blade feel uh, style razors, but you might love that. If you have a more medium heavy coarseness beard, you might love that extra blade feel and might find that it's very easy for you to work with. So while I personally don't really in super seek out these more medium aggressive razors. If I had to pick one out of this particular battle, I would pick the Roca. I found it a little bit smoother, less blade feel, and a little bit easier to use. 
Price-wise, as I mentioned earlier, they're about the same. So uh, that's pretty much my take on these particular two razors. I would definitely personally get the standard plate, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, that's not offered. So you're basically stuck with going with the, uh, the Apex. He offers that in the standard plate still, and that would be my suggestion if you're looking something more mild, that would be the option that you're gonna probably like a lot more. I would say that the, uh, the 0.99 plus plate is a little bit much for me. So it just depends on what kind of uh, razor you like and what you like as far as blade feel wise. But if you like the Apex aluminum, I would think that uh, the copper can would be a little bit too much in the plus plate. And I talked to another gentleman that he's the one that suggested that I get the Apex aluminum. He recently got the copper can plus plate and he also felt the same. It was just too much for him personally. So if you like super mild razors, you might want to look at the Apex offering versus the copper can offering. I really do like this Roca. I think that I'm going to compare it next to the uh, Alpha Evolution Outlaw that I have, which is also comparably priced in that 100 to 150 range, depending on how you get it. So I think that'll be a great to review. And uh, shaving wise, I think they're very comparable because I've used both of them before. So I look forward to doing that review. Stay tuned, I'll uh, do that one. And then I also have the uh, Yates 921 with the standard and then the medium level plate. I'd like to use that a little bit first. And if I think that's on par, I'll probably compare that to this as well, as well as the Alpha Evo. So stay tuned. I got a bunch of stuff in the pipeline. Um, the splash on this does smell great. I do pick up a little bit more of that kind of sophisticated uh, toasted coconut that they put in there. So great smell on the splash. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.